Hi, welcome back to the channel. My name's Dave Smith. I'm the Gutenberg core team member and full-time WordPress contributor. And in this video, I'm gonna talk a little bit more about the navigation block that's coming to WordPress 5.9. Specifically in this video, I want to answer a question that came to me via the WordPress core Slack channel. In that channel, somebody asked, how do I access the inner blocks, the HTML inner blocks of the navigation block? It seems that I can't see them when I go to code view. And that's actually a really, really good question. And if we have a look at how the navigation block functions, we'll have a better understanding of why we can't access them. But I'll also show you later on a way that you can get around this temporarily, although it does require some experience, date, um, developer experience of working a little bit with databases, but it's, it's, it's fairly simple stuff. So I'll try and explain that as well. So if we look at a block editor and we add, for example, a group block, and then in that group block, we add a paragraph block that says, hello, world and then we switch to code view we will see the block grammar html markup and these are the block delimiters here which show where the block starts and ends <coughs> excuse me and within them we have the html for the paragraph block as well sorry here's the html for the paragraph block and as you can see it says hello world and this bit here is what we refer to as the inner blocks of the group block. The group block acts a contain as a container and it has child items which we call inner blocks. And this is all saved to the post when you hit save up here. Now, if we try the same thing with a navigation block, we'll see it's not quite the same. So let's give that a go now. We'll add a new navigation block. We'll click start empty. And we will add our first item, which will be this lovely default thing. So I'll change that to hello. Nav item one, and I'll add one more just for good measure. And I'll leave that one as it is. So if I save that, and I am actually going to publish it as well so that I save the navigation post. If I do that, and now I switch to code editor view again, what we're going to see now is that there are no inner blocks here. There are no inner blocks. If you remember when we looked at the group block, within this, there were, within the navigation block, there was an opening navigation block tag and a closing one. And within that, we had the, the items for within the group block. In the navigation block, there are no inner items shown despite the fact that we can clearly see here from the structure that we have a parent navigation block with two sub navigation item blocks. So what's going on? Well, in a previous video, I explained that the way the navigation block works is that it actually saves its items content to a new post type. And that post type is referenced by its post ID here. And so there is no need to save the inner blocks within the post itself. And that's so that the, the navigation menu itself can be reused across multiple navigation block instances and between themes. And if we look in the video that I've recorded above, then we can learn a lot more about that concept. But for now, how do then we act actually access those navigation items. For example, we might want to copy them to a new menu, or we might want to put them in a block pattern, or we might want to do innumerable things with them. But at the moment, we can't get access to them. So let's have a look and explore, see if we can do that. I'm going to exit code editor view here. I'm going to close list view, and I'm going to select the parent navigation block, select menu, and manage menus. And yes, we will leave. And as you can see, we've got three navigations. And this is the one I've just created. So many of you expected that if you click on edit here, quite rightly, you expected that when you clicked on it, you would be dropped into an editor whereby you can edit the individual items of that navigation. And that's quite a reasonable assumption, but unfortunately it doesn't work. And that's intentional. It's not a bug, it's not a, it's not a problem. It's by design. And the reason for that is at the moment um, to allow you to edit these uh, navigation items in line would require a lot of changes to the block editor. And the key contributors to the navigation block felt that we weren't going to be able to land those changes 
to the block editor in a sustainable and safe way in time for WordPress 5.9. So we made the regrettable decision to remove the editor box. And actually, it, to understand why we needed to do that, you can see that the navigation items, the sub items of the navigation block actually require that there is a navigation parent block present in the editor in order to function. Unfortunately, the navigation posts themselves wouldn't actually contain the navigation block at all. They would only contain the navigation items because those items are the data, whereas the navigation block is the container and it's the specific instance of that navigation. And that's quite a complicated thing, so don't worry if that didn't make any sense. Try watching my other video, that probably helped to clear it up a little bit. But suffice to say, the there are technical constraints which mean we cannot yet allow you to edit here although we will do hopefully in the future with some form of isolated navigation editor you heard it here first but i can't always <laughs> i can't promise that that will be the case i'm only one contributor and many other people will have different opinions to me so what is one to do then you want to access this navigation editor but you you really don't know how you're going to do that how are you going to get to these items well, one way of doing it is actually by accessing the database directly. And this is quite a big jump and it shouldn't be something that's required. And we are very conscious of this as contributors that this is far from optimal. But nonetheless, it is a way of getting hold of the, of the items. And if you are building such things as patterns or themes, hopefully you have some experience of using um, some kind of database access tool, be it PHP MyAdmin or in this case, I'm using, um, I think it's called, what am I using? SQL Ace, which is an open source um, database management tool. So what I've done here is I've gone into the database of my site and I'm going to go to the posts table here. And then I'm going to search filtering by post type. And I want to filter by the post type being WP underscore navigation. And if I do so, I'll be presented with three posts and if we look here we can see post title number three is navigation three and that is the same id 498 so this is the navigation menu that i was looking at earlier and the one that we want to get the items for and if we're unsure what i was meaning i'm talking about this one here which we created in the post and hopefully we should be able to go back to that post and see the navigation block still in place looks like we can and if you recall, if we go to code view, there was a reference here that pointed to a post navigation post with ID 498. So back to our database, navigation post ID 498. If we click on the post content field and open it, this is where the navigation link items are stored. So you can copy those and do what you want with them. For example, this particular person, I believe, was the person who asked the question, was trying to reuse those items in a block pattern, or they may, may have been trying to reuse them in the template part on their theme. I can't quite recall, but either way, this is one way of getting hold of that data until such time as we expose a isolated navigation editor for that very purpose within, uh, within WordPress. But as I said, that isn't available yet. It may come in future versions of the Gutenberg plugin and or WordPress 6.0, but it won't be there in, in 5.9. And uh, we tried our best, but unfortunately we weren't able to deliver. Um, so I hope this helps if you're trying to access the items of a navigation block. Hopefully it did. If you liked it, please think about subscribing or liking this video. It really, really helps. And please be sure to check out my other videos um, many of which are on the navigation block and hopefully you find those useful. All right. Thanks very much for watching again. See you next time. Bye.